Hey peeps, Justin here welcoming you to otakosandgeeks.com reviews and today I am going to be reviewing the indie game that's available on Steam at the moment, Devil Engine. This is a side-scroller arcade shooter. Uh, for those who are familiar with games like G Darius, it plays in along those type of lines. So, as always, I'll give you a brief synopsis and I'll give you my thoughts on the game. A last-ditch effort to destroy what was once to be our savior. A final mission to eliminate a disastrous future. A single ship against Earth's entire military, the Andraste, is the only hope to defeat the Devil Engine. And I have to admit, I had a blast playing this game. This is a very fun, very challenging arcade uh, shooter. And one thing I really do like about it, first I want to talk a little bit about and these are the controls, very basic controls. For those who are playing this on PC, highly recommend you use your, whatever controller you use to program on your PC, highly recommend it to use the controls. It feels much better, feels more fluid than using the keyboard. I just want to get that out there. And first, let's talk about the graphics here. The graphics is really great and I'm going to give uh, props to Protoculture Games and for those who are familiar in the anime community, especially to us old school anime heads, if you're familiar with that word protoculture, and that word protoculture is basically, I, I, this is my theory, it's a nice nod to the Macross Robotech franchise and if you look at the aesthetics of this game, you will see a lot of that type of Macross Robotech feel because some of these design ships remind me a lot of the big bads in the entire series, the Zentradi. So I, I thought that was a really nice nod to give it to the um, to, to Robotech and Macross. But graphically, graphic wise, I really do like the aesthetics here. I like the use of the 32 bit feel with great use of background colors. I thought it really brings out the enemies more. Uh, the lighting is great. I do like the animation and it's pretty good. It's a pretty solid, nice nod to the 32-bit era. Like I said, it's a nice nod to G Darius and games like that that we used to play on our PlayStations and uh, PlayStation era uh, games and I really do enjoy it. Now let's talk about the gameplay. Oh boy, uh, the game is hard. <laughs> the game is challenging but I absolutely love the challenge. You will die in this game. You have to really be on your toes, and one thing I do like is that it, it, it brings it, man. They give you uh, tons of power for you to keep switching on. Obviously, this is plays like any other arcade shooter. If you get the same power up, that power up gets more stronger. If you go, say, like an L's laser, so if you get another laser, that laser gets upgraded to a more stronger version of it. It works very well, very fluent, and I think it's good. Um, I would definitely go in and say that soundtrack is addictive it is wonderful i mean it's the first level of law this really sets this action tone that just really makes you go i'm getting this soundtrack and i actually had to get the soundtrack to see because the game music is gorgeously good to the ears it really fits the tone it just complements the composer it really fits the tone of the game it really brings out that type of aesthetic Definitely so overall you guys, gameplay is basic, it's solid, it's hard, it's, it's very hard, uh, but very easy, it's even challenging on the easy mode, boss fights are good, it takes a lot of strategy, a lot of dodging, and you want to learn a path to get to it, but I would definitely recommend this, I would say go buy Double Engine in $17.99, um, it's a fun game, easy soundtrack, great graphics, and it's uh, This is Justin from MetacolisGeeks.com saying later days. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.